need this year is they're a group of individuals trying to summon the Antichrist, but we're also getting one of the major signs for the Mahdi. Now, this group of individuals, their timing is not random. They're choosing to do this on Eid because all the Shaitan are locked up. Now, that being true, they have to wait for Ramadan to end to do any kind of demonic evil practices. This is because the Shaitan are locked up. They can't contact any of them if they're all locked away. The Red Heifer Prophecy is happening on Eid! So many Muslims are freaking out because of the Red Heifer Prophecy, which is a Christian and Jewish prophecy that says once Israel sacrifices its 10th Red Cap, this will summon their Messiah, otherwise known as the Jad. And apparently they're planning this on Eid. All Muslims, the Red Heifer Prophecy is gonna happen on Eid in two weeks. This has gone viral all over TikTok. When Israel sacrifices a 10th Red Heifer, this will call the Antichrist the Jad. On Eid. Because in Ramadan, all the Shaitan are locked up, they can't do anything till Eid day. As Muslims, we must remember this is not in the Quran or in any hadith. It's only in the Christian and Jewish belief. Still, we should take this as a reminder to turn back to Allah before it's too late. The end is surely coming closer. Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel where we delve into the depths of Islamic teachings and explore the connections with other faiths. Today, we embark on a journey through the mysterious prophecies of the Red Heifer and the arrival of the Antichrist as mentioned in Judaism and Christianity and as Dajjal in Islam, and examine Islam's perspective on these intriguing topics. The concept of the Red Heifer holds significant importance in Jewish tradition, as it is believed to be a key element in the purification rituals necessary for the rebuilding of the Third Temple in Jerusalem. According to Jewish prophecy, the appearance of a flawless Red Heifer signals the coming of the Messiah and the restoration of Temple worship. In Judaism, the Red Heifer must be without blemish and must be sacrificed to produce ashes used in purification rituals. Its appearance is awaited as a harbinger of messianic times. Similarly, in Christian eschatology, the Antichrist is prophesied as a figure of great deception who will rise to power in the end times, opposing the true Messiah. The Antichrist's arrival is associated with chaos and tribulation before the final judgment. In Christianity, the Antichrist is depicted as a false messiah who will deceive many with his charisma and miracles, leading them away from the path of righteousness. Now, let's explore Islam's perspective on these prophecies. While the Red Heifer is not explicitly mentioned in the Islamic tradition, there are parallels and insights that shed light on these concepts. In the Quran, Allah warns believers about the deceivers who will emerge in the end times. Instead, Muslims are advised to remain steadfast in their faith and seek refuge in Allah from the trials of the last days. In Islamic eschatology, the figure corresponding to the Antichrist is known as Dajjal. Dajjal is described as a deceiver who will emerge in the end times, spreading corruption and falsehood. Islamic tradition provides detailed descriptions of Dajjal, warning believers of his trials and tribulations. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, cautioned his followers about Dajjal's deceptive nature and advised them to seek refuge in Allah from his mischief. According to Hadith narrations, Dajjal will possess extraordinary powers, but true believers will recognize him through signs such as his one-eyed appearance and his attempt to claim divinity. In Islam, the arrival of Dajjal is considered a major sign of the Day of Judgment, signaling the culmination of worldly affairs and the onset of divine reckoning. Muslims are encouraged to prepare spiritually and strengthen their faith to withstand the trials of Dajjal's era. To protect themselves from the trials of Dajjal, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised his followers to recite Surah Al-Kaf every Friday. Until next time, may peace and blessings be upon you all.